pericardial fusion etiology according to the type of fluid inside the pericardial space. So uh, depending on the sort of fluid that is inside the, the pericardial space, we have so many types of pericardial effusion. We have the exudative pericardial effusion we have, in which we have high amount of cells inside the, uh, the fluid and high protein content and is almost produced by all causes of dry pericarditis, mostly due to tuberculosis. On the opposite, we have the transudative pericardial effusion when we have uh, low amount of cells in the fluid and low protein content. It is usually due to heart failure, liver cirrhosis, and nephrotic syndrome. On the other side, we have the hemopericardium in which we have an accumulation of blood inside the sac and is usually caused by a trauma or a rupture of aortic aneurysm. And we also have the chylus effusion in which we have an accumulation of lymph in the pericardial sac, which is usually due to an obstruction or injury to the thoracic ducts.